Loud and clear, he reports back to Mercury Control, reading off his instruments, commenting on his reactions, all as coolly and calmly as if he was commuting on the 827. Glenn is able to control the yaw and pitch of the vehicle himself. Now comes the moment when the Mercury is turned so that Glenn will be seated facing backwards. He checks with ground control. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. Roger, turn around has started. Capsule turning around, and I could see the booster doing turn around just a couple of hundred yards behind me. It was beautiful. Uh, Roger, seven, you have a go, at least seven orbits. Roger, understand go for at least seven orbits. Actual pictures of Glenn in the capsule will give scientists the opportunity to study his reactions as he passes over the Canary Islands, Africa, the Indian Ocean, Australia, back across the Pacific and over the United States. He speeds at 17,500 miles an hour, reaching a high point of 160 miles and a low altitude of 99 miles. Each of the three orbits takes about 90 minutes. Three times the colonel sees the sun rise within a period of four hours and 56 minutes three times around the globe for a trip of 81,000 miles before he re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, a shield protecting the astronaut from the intense heat. Oh.